All right, welcome back to JSG Woodworking. Um, so this video um, is going to be just kind of a shop tour, shop update type thing. Um, I know most people won't watch this, which is too bad because I'm really excited about this video. Um, you'll have to excuse my spinning. I'm trying to find a place where I don't have glare. Um, so it's been a little bit. I haven't posted a video. Um, I just got done filming one that I'll post here shortly. If it's not already up, it'll probably already be up. Um, but I've got some exciting news, um, some happy news for me. Um, and we'll get to it in a little bit here. Um, so let me get you turned around and we'll kind of go through this shop tour a little bit. Um, I'm finally getting things organized here at my new shop. Um, finally got my shed built. So I've been able to move some of the stuff that's in my shop out. So I'm starting to be able to rearrange things. Still a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, but I kind of wanted to show you the guys the progress and let you know how things have been. So let me get just turned around here. Hang on. So this area is still a mess. Um, I'll freely admit it. Um, this is kind of all my pen blanks and various other blanks. Um, areas, burls, stuff that I've cut up and stuff that I haven't cut up and stuff that, you know, can end up being used for bottle stoppers. Um, you know, big, big box elder burl, I can probably still cut up into smaller, make some handles or something out of it. Um, you know, this one here make a pretty decent handle. Um, it's starting to check just a little bit because it's been just sitting out here. So... Um, over here, you know, it's still kind of a mess. Got my vacuum pump, my vacuum set up. I got a scale over there, my level that I forgot to put away. Um, I did get this little three wheel bandsaw. I am struggling with it, guys. Um, I don't know if I'm just trying to overdo it by cutting certain things, you know, cutting burls and that type of stuff with it the blade just won't stay on um i don't know if i need to go through and tighten something or lube something or get new rubber pieces on the wheels or what i need to do it's frustrating me and so i struggle using it sometimes um this belt sander is kind of on permanent loan to me from my father um and so that has been nice. Um, obviously looking at it, I could use some new pat, new sanding belts and discs, but that's another story. Um, down underneath here again, still kind of a mess. Oop. That I didn't want to show you quite yet. Um, so we got sandpaper down there over in this corner here. My miter saw that you've seen, my angle grinder, um, you know, Finishing nail gun, my air compressor, uh, fridge, my car jack. Um, this is one project. I probably won't film it if I ever actually get to it. Um, this is a shotgun reloader um, that I'm going to try to rebuild. Um, I got it for free off a guy that I helped move, and um, but it needs a lot of TLC. So, um, this is not the new improvement that I wanted to show you, but it's nice too. Got me myself a Camp Chef uh, pellet grill, so that's nice. So over here, you got my drill press, got my toaster oven. Well, that kind of gave it away. So here's some blanks that I've got. Um, some Alumalite blanks. Um, and some other things that I'm trying, trying to do some like true cards from like Brian, I think it's Brian, no, Grant Patterson. Um, but unfortunately it's not working out nearly as well as I'd hoped. I don't know how well you can see it. I don't know if that's resin getting through or what, um, but it's not going as well as I'd hoped. Um, you know, you can see kind of the barrel through there, and it's just, I think I need to paint my tubes, 
and I didn't, and even this one I've got an air pocket, but it looks like it's off to the side, so maybe it would be okay, but, you know, over here you can kind of see the tube through the card, so I'm still learning that. Um, and then I've got these new blanks, um, these ones I'm really excited about, they're actually a four color pour, so I've got um, all casters choice blank, all caster choices mica powders. Um, this one is red raspberry, blood red, white pearl, and pewter. Um, so I don't know how much, how well they're showing up there, but I'm excited about those ones. I've kind of got this one. This is the red raspberry, paradise blue, and lime green. Um, that one I was just kind of playing around with, wanted to try something new. Um, here I've got two box elder burls. I guess it helps if I have you on camera. Um, that I've done a worthless wood blank on um, with pewter. Um, so those ones are kind of cool too. I'm kind of excited to see how those turn out. Uh, my good old wind lathe. Um, Great for pen turning, nothing else really. Um, made this mallet with it, nearly killed the lathe with that, trying to make that mallet. So, um, this is where this little red box is where I'm currently storing all my pen making stuff. So, I've got you know my bushings and tie clips because I'm trying my hand at tie clips too, and then. You know, I've got my Zona paper back here, my sandpaper up on top that's all scattered ski wampus. But, yeah. So that's kind of that. Um, got some wood here that hopefully I'll be using to build another workbench. Um, table saw. Another thing of wood. Vacuum. You know, and still some other things that shouldn't belong in here. Um, but that's the shop, um, so some new additions, um, you saw the blanks, so obviously you're pretty, sh can guess I got the Lumilite now. Um, this here, I've got the amazing clear cast. Um, I like this stuff when I'm doing just a single color pour, because I can have a lot of working time and I can kind of take my time with it and everything else. Um, and then I tried the clear. The woman like clear. Love this stuff. That's how I'm doing my multicolored blanks. Um, and obviously, I need some more. Um, just got a starter kit off P Town Subbies. Um, great place to get a starter kit. Um, P Town has great silicone molds. Um, so, um, not a sponsor. I wish they were a sponsor, but they're not a sponsor. Um, Caster Choice isn't a sponsor. I would love them to be a sponsor, but again, they're not. Um, so, there's my other new addition. Um, I got myself a pressure pot, uh, modified it, uh, modified Harbor Freight paint pot. Not the greatest, but it works. Um, as you can see, I kind of had to mark it um, on the top here so I know where to line up the clamp because there is a leak in it, so. Um, but the one thing that I'm really, really excited about that's gonna take me quite a while to get working and a lot of elbow grease is these. Um, so I've now gotten two of these Craftsman, I think they're 113, the Model 113 um, lathes. Um, obviously though, as you can see, they need a lot of work. Um, the reason why I've got two, one was given to me from my dad's best friend. The other one, again, um, was given to me um, because it's missing some pieces. Both of them are missing pieces, so it's going to take two of them to make one, um, unfortunately. Um, here's the motor. This is kind of the part that I'm not happy about with this one. Um, this top pulley is broken. Um, it will probably still work, but my worry is, is since this is, you know, really sharp, that it's going to tear, just destroy the belt. 
Um, so what I'm hoping to be able to do, because this bottom one here is in a little bit better shape than this one is, so I'm hoping to take the pulley out of the head here and put it onto the motor. I don't know if that's going to work. We're going to see. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's it spins, it's rough. This one spins better. Um, and just, I mean, the pipe looks a little bit better and that type of stuff. So, that's my next big, huge project. Um, and I'm super, super excited about it. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to have to build another table for. Um, it will probably fit on this table, but I like having this table like it is, because then I can have all this stuff over here. I've got a power strip screwed to the back of it, um, so I can plug in all this stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to make a designated table. Um, probably put it kind of in this area over here, just for this lathe. Um, but I've got to strip it down. I want to scrub it all down, scrub the pipe down. Um, hopefully I'm not going to need to repaint a whole lot. Um, but here's to hoping. Um, so yeah, that's my big next project. Uh, my big update. Um, so it should be interesting, it should be exciting. Um, hopefully this channel will get a little bit more. Um, so now that I have the pressure pot, the alumilite, and a bigger lathe, I'm hoping to be able to start doing bigger things. Um, one guy that has been a huge inspiration on a lot of this is Doug over at Pole Barns. I love watching his stuff. Um, if you guys get a chance, look up him. He makes some really cool stuff. Um, so a lot of really cool hybrid bowls and that type of stuff. And he just, he, he has fun with it. Um, so, but yeah, that's the update. Um, I'll let you guys know how things go. I don't think I'll record the restoration of this. I might try to give you guys some updates here and there. Um, but that's going to be about it so let me flip you back around here really quick try that again because for some reason it didn't save um so yeah with that new stuff with the pot the new lathe i am hoping to make some good stuff i think there's going to be a lot of exciting changes here um and hopefully one of these days i'll figure out some angles that aren't going to just glare the snot out of this thing um i am hoping right underneath this horrible light here eventually i will have a sticker wall um i don't have any stickers yet personally but yeah i want some because i think they're cool um and i want to support my fellow youtubers and all that other fun jazz um so eventually i'm hoping to get some stickers when i do hit me up i would love to do a sticker swap with you um but yeah, with those new additions, there should be a lot of really cool changes happening, um, and I'm excited. Um, I know I'm coming up on close to 100 subscribers if I haven't hit it yet. Um, once I do hit it, I would like to do a giveaway. Um, I don't have much, um, but I did just figure this out as I was recording the other one and not having it safe. Um, I have this violet, pewter, and white blank that I cast. Um, I made two of these out of this one. I made a minstrel pin. Turned out amazing. Um, if I can find some stills of it, I will put them here at the end. Um, if I can figure out how to do that, that's the first big challenge. Um, but I will probably do a giveaway for this um, at 100 subscribers just for fun because I want to thank you guys for subscribing um, I don't remember everything I was saying in the other one I did say, notice 
uh, mention that the that big huge pile of pilot pallets back there is going to be one of my projects also um, so that should be fun um, so hopefully I'm gonna have some pallet projects here shortly um, and some bigger lathe items um, yes I know I say I'm a lot I'm sorry but thanks for watching please like subscribe join the chaos that is JSG woodworking um, but yeah thank you and we will see you guys next time bye